Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, it's time for your next tip talk. It looks like people want to talk about bugs. Um, probably the most prevalent bug. I'll post a picture along with the video. Um, trying to switch back and forth between the front camera and the back camera and turn it back and forth and zoom on the plant and it was all just getting me dizzy so you get just me um <clears throat> anyhow mealybugs are the most common and probably the most annoying pest when it comes to phalaenopsis they tend to get in under the leaves in the cracks of the leaves and between the petals and the sepals of the flower um, anywhere where they don't easily get washed off, they have a little bit of cover from things that would eat them, uh, and uh, they just chow down. They particularly chow down when the plants are not as turgid as normal. So perhaps uh, perhaps if you hadn't watered for a while, like you went on vacation and you came back and oh my god, mealybugs everywhere. Um, you'll notice that the leaves are maybe a little shrivelly uh, because they haven't been watered for a while. What that does is it softens the outer layer of the leaf that normally protects the plant from mealies and it makes it very easy for them to multiply and chew through that outer layer of the leaf, uh, leading to massive proliferation. Um, bad news. So don't take vacation. Uh, <laughs> right or kill your mealies before you take vacation um hmm so what do you do about mealies there's a couple things you can wash them off with hose uh, i'll normally do that before i treat because mealies have kind of a powdery coating on them that makes it hard for insecticides and things to stick to them however they're not very strong so if you get a hose and you put it on jet on low you can just you know jet them out of all those nooks and crannies and pretty hard to do that on the flowers without breaking the flowers but certainly on the plant you know it works pretty good uh, they tend to hang I've seen them under the leaves or in the cracks of the leaves or in the flowers so those are the most likely um, all right so once you get them cleaned off then you can go after them with soap and oil uh, just you know it'll get a little cup some dish soap some oil um, or if you prefer some rubbing alcohol or both you can mix them if you want and that'll normally you know kind of clean out the rest of them that are there you can use a wet paper towel and kind of wipe it down i find that it's a little quicker than using a uh, cotton swab <coughs> um, there are mixes that are more potent i think uh, dustin posted some mixes a while back um, he had don ultra uh, was the dreaded blue don ultra mixed in with all kinds of things um, mineral oil was the least nasty I guess <laughs> and then there was uh, and yeah, it worked its way up to you know cinnamon oil a um, couple of other things eucalyptus oil neem oil it's just a you know a few drops mixed in there but the thing to remember is bugs breathe through their exoskeleton so if you can coat them with anything they will suffocate they're very sensitive to that um, <clears throat> oil does it but they do have kind of a water repellent uh liquid repellent exoskeleton so they don't suffocate so uh, that's where the soap suds come in and anything shampoo dish soap you know will act as a wetter agent and coat them uh, you add to the the oil to that and you know basically it doesn't dry up and so they end up uh, suffocating wonderful thing uh, so that's probably the you know least toxic way uh, you can bag them so if you have some stinky insecticide that has uh, that works you know by contact and fume uh, I don't know something like um, malathion or diazinon I guess is what they used to use I don't know what they use these days um, you can do that just put them you know spray them spray the plant put it in a big garbage bag close the top leave them sit for an hour or two and take them back out and dry them out um, and that'll fumigate all of them you know because they got to breathe and so you know they'll die um, you can use a a, a, a coder uh, insecticide that leaves a residue like uh, I guess you know seven was the one that you used to see in the garden shop a lot and uh, that's on the leaf so when they chew through the leaf they eat some of it and they die so that works and it is more longer lasting um, 
And nowadays they have systemics. Uh, if I go to say Home Depot or Lowe's, they typically have ortho, um, <clears throat> which is a systemic. Uh, and I've seen, actually when you buy shrubs and things, uh, a lot of times that's what they use to control bugs on that as well. Um, unfortunately, systemics do kill bees. So, you know, my suggestion if you're gonna use a systemic is to just use them on your orchids. Don't use them outside on things that would be visited by bees uh, because it, it will weaken them. It may not kill them, but it'll weaken them. It'll show up in the nectar that they, and the pollen, and you know, eventually weaken the hive, maybe kill it. So um, be careful where you use systemics, but they do work really wonderful in getting rid of mealy bugs um, on failies and not on your orchids in general. Uh, so pretty wonderful things. Ortho is probably the cheapest and maybe the least toxic. There's others out there as well, things like Maverick. If you go to Amazon and do a search on systemic insecticides, a bunch of them will come up. And uh, they have granular, so you can just spot sprinkle on the plants or, you know, they have um, soluble ones and, you know, ones that can be, uh, that are in powdered form that can be dissolved, all kinds of good stuff. So those are kind of your mealybug options. Again, if you see them, they look like little silverfish. They're white, they're furry, they tend to hang out in the cracks of the leaf and under the leaf and particularly on plants that are a little dehydrated. Um, that's how you get rid of them. All right, I'll, I'll post a picture of a mealy or two uh, along with the video. All right, thanks, bye.